Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Hurricane, Bob Dylan. Alright, the intro is just an A minor to an F, so you could just do something like... Any F chord will do. All I'm doing is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Uh, he starts off real, you know, I didn't, I didn't try to mimic exactly what he's doing. It's something like... So I just hit the fifth string, you know, something like that. Not a big deal. Okay. So you got your intro. This is um, this part's going to come back as an interlude uh, all the way through the song. So you got your intro is an A minor to an F. Uh, a minor uh, fourth string second fret second string second fret first uh, second string first fret. <laughs> Man, that's so difficult to say. Let's go. I can see why the other guys on YouTube don't do them. <laughs> Need the sixth string. Okay, so that's my A minor chord. The F chord that I did was the second string first fret, third string second fret, fourth string third fret. Then I wrap my thumb around to the sixth string first fret. I'm muting the fifth and the first string at the same time. Uh, if you can do bar chords, you can do the big giant bar chord F. I just don't dig the sound, so I never do it. Uh, you could do a small one. You could just do this and try to avoid these low strings. Anything you want. Um, all right. So there's your intro. It's uh, four times in a row. They just go down, 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 down. So A minor to an F. Okay. Now when the verse starts, let's go over the verse. This is the big part of the song. It repeats ten times in a row, just like this. So you got A minor to F four times, uh, just like the intro. So he starts, you know, uh, I don't remember the words. The fourth time he's going to switch the F chord a little bit on the strum. Here it comes. Okay, so let's go over that. So my F chord on the fourth one through in the verse when he's singing, okay? How about that? Uh, I'm going to do it real slow. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So I'm going to do it fast now. I'll start on the A minor. Okay, that's it. Wicked fast. But I slowed it down. And at the end, what you heard was a C chord. So I hit the C chord, so I went... Sorry. And I'm also lifting up. You can see I can lift up during that whole, you know. And I land on a C chord. The C chord is the fifth string third fret, fourth string second, second string first fret. That's your C chord. All right. Uh, in this section, let's uh, let's just go over the, all the chords at this point, I guess. Uh, G chord. Sixth string third fret, first string third fret. Maybe the fifth string second fret if you want. That's a fine G chord if you want it, that comes up. You're going to need a D minor, first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string on that one. You might see me playing that with my pinky instead of my third finger. It's just a thing I do. Um, you can do it too. E minor, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret. Wicked simple. E minor, is that all you I think that's all the chords in the song, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got them all. All right, so back to the verse. So we just ended on a C. This is the story of an F chord. Then when you go to the G, you're going to go... You're going to do that wicked fast, the up, down, up, down, and then you land on a C, okay? Then you're going to do the F again, then the G again with the wicked fast. That's up, down, up, down. Okay, so it's going to be hard to teach, I think. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the A minor F as if I played it three times. I'm going to do it the fourth time, and then we're going to lead right into this, the, the more complicated part. So it's like. The story of the hurricane. 
Then he's on a D minor, and it's back to the original strum. The down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, C, same thing. D minor, same thing. Okay? Then now you're going to do a C chord, but it's going to be a shorter pattern. Down, down, up, E minor, same thing. Down, down, up, A minor, same thing. Down, down, up, F, same thing. Then you do a C chord, but it's the longer pattern. Then you're going to go to a G chord. It's the last one in the sequence, and you're going to go down, up, uh, down, 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 down. Maybe that's it. Let's try that. Down, up, down, 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 down. He does something like that. We'll see when I get to it. I, I don't always play it the same way. So, um, all right, I'm going to play the whole verse. Okay. And then you'll see all these different things that we're talking about. So, uh, the verse. Let's go over it again. We'll, uh, I'll just, I'll kind of work it through slower. So, A minor. You know, pistols on a hill. Do it now. See, this is the story of the F chord. And then the G, C, and then the F, G, D minor, do a C, D minor, now the C shorter, E minor, A minor, F, C, and then the G. There I did a different one. Down, 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 down. So I'm already varying it, so I just do whatever I feel like. So, um... But on that G, he does something, uh, and uh, and I'm always screwing around with it. So it's down, 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 down. or I'm kind of digging the down, 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 down. anything will do. But make it a little different. Drive the song, you know. So at that point in the song, they go back to the A minor F. They repeat it twice. We're calling it an interlude. It's like the intro. It's just that A minor to F. Trying to catch his breath. And then that's it. And that's your interlude. Okay? Yeah, you're just about to have the song because what you got is you got your intro, um, which is the four times through. Then you got your verse, the big long thing we just did. And then after the verse, every single time is like this little interlude. And they do that ten times in a row. And then they have the last verse, which. Um, like I said, we already went over the verse. Um, he does the verse exactly the way um, we talked about. But then they have the outro, which is, I think, the harmonica solo and stuff. So what happens there is they do do the, like, an interlude. But this time it's like an intro. It's four times in a row. And this time he's playing the chords. And he doesn't do all that fancy strumming. It's just real basic strumming all the way through. So I'm going to play the outro just like it is. So it was the last verse that he just sang, and then you hear the A minor to the F. Four times. Now it's a C to an F. A C. Minor, A minor, F, C back to the long strum, and then 
write out the song with A minor to F. Just keeps repeating over and over as they're fading out. Okay? And you just fade out. You'd end on an A minor chord if you can't fade out. Okay? Um, notice that the outro, that chord progression is slightly different than the verse uh, that took a while for me to figure out. I was like, why isn't it just the same? It's not. It's a little bit different. So you got to pay attention to that if you want to play like, you know, make it sound like him. Okay, that's the story of the hurricane. Hopefully that was good enough. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and play more guitar.